Set up Firebase messaging and local notification in your Flutter project first, before we begin coding. Give you a link to videos that demonstrate how to set up Firebase in your project and how to set up notifications in the description. Watch a demonstration of how the Flutter app's badge functions, based on notifications first. How it functions in the foreground, background, and terminate states in every state. Include these two dependencies, badges, and flutter underscore app underscore icon underscore badge. The flutter app icon badge is managed by flutter underscore app underscore icon underscore badge, and the badge widget in your flutter app is displayed using badges. If you have already set up local notification and Firebase messing, then you simply need to write this permission now and set true for the badge. We are now handling a badge in our Flutter app. Go to your show notification function or any related code you wrote in your Flutter app. Now, let's retrieve the badge value from shared preference. If the value is null, return zero badges. Increment the current badge value. Now update badge value into shared preference. We can now update the app icon badge using flutter app icon badge dot update badge badge count and update the stream value by using badge count. This will immediately change a notification badge widget on the home screen with its listener that we set up. To handle the stream listener, we write notification listener code and call the get notification count method on the home screen, which retrieves a value from the shared preference and assigns it to a variable.
we now handle a badge. If the badge value is zero, we do not show the shoe badge widget, otherwise, we do. When using, click the notification icon to remove all of the badges. We set the shared preference value to zero after first obtaining the badge count from shared preference dot and update the badge with the current negative value for the badge count. For example, if the badge value is five, update the badge with minus five to set the badge count to zero. The next time we update the badge, the count will start at zero. Moreover, the remove badge method call updates the notification variable value to zero and removes the badge.